Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Dear viewers, welcome to all of you in basic piping and welding course class So today we are going to be start lecture 21 In this lecture, I will try to share with you some basic information about the flange rating selection as per ASPI B16.5 So this is the very interesting topics I hope uh, you will watch the full lecture and uh, you will, uh, we will uh, try to understand the topic So this this the things is the most uh, common and most important for us in our uh, workplace so let's see what we have in today lecture and uh, you are watching from youtube channel nur muhammad and facebook page watch and learn so if you still not subscribe my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and share with your friends okay let's see what we have in today lecture so what is the flange rating or pressure rating so pressure rating is defined as the maximum allowable pressure that a flange can withstand at increasing temperature so if i tell the very simply so this rating actually is the define this flange how much pressure can withstand so these the things actually the flange rating so let's see uh, how we can select the flange rating so these are the things that we will uh, discuss in this uh, lecture <coughs> so according to the nsi asmi b16.5 specification there are seven flange rating are available 150 300 400 600 900 1500 and 2500 the term pressure rating so this pressure rating term we can define by class writing or hash symbol pounds or pounds are in uh, interchangeable they all refer to the same extract concept of pressure temperature performance of a flange and other equipment like bulb fittings etc so this the flange rating all we can uh, see in our drawing or our uh, material spec or someplace so these the things actually mention the flange rating so this is the flange pressure rating so you can see here is the flange so for example we will uh, see is here so for flange rating selection three important information we need to know so when we are going to be select the flange rating so this flange how much rating will be we need to be used so we need to know the three most important uh, information number one is the flange material number two design pressure and design temperature so these three three things we need to know before selection the flange or we are checking the flange so this is the information where we will get this is another question so for your information information we will get from piping class summary or piping specification or piping land list so when we work in project we uh, first we need to collect the this all the documents so in piping line list you can see for there is the piping spec then you can see the piping pressure and piping temperature so based on piping spec when you go to the piping specification then you can get the all the details uh, information is there so if you want to the if you work in the repair uh, project if you want to change the existing uh, flange then also you need to collect the information then we only can the choose the new uh, flange so for example we do the one example we know that flange material a105 so we know 105 is the component steel material then second thing is the design pressure we find the 150 bar and design temperature is 130 120 degree celsius so if this is the information we get from the piping line list and piping specification then we need to find out what is the flange rating to be used so which flange rating will be we, we need to be used for this condition <coughs> so for this condition if you want to go look then we need to go the ASME B16.5 so table on a list of material specification so you can see this is I take from the ASME B16.5 2013 version list of material specification so you can see the material group 1.1 then pressure temperature rating table 2-1.1 and the material is 105 so this this a105 we already 
find before so for this is this is the basic to search so when we find the a105 then we go to the what is the material group and what is the pressure temperature rating table so from this table we find the already i show you the flange material a105 then material group a1.1 and the pressure and temperature rating table 2-1.1 so let's see what we have in 2-1.1 so this is the table 2-1.1 pressure temperature rating for group 1.1 material so if you see the in our uh, for our example we find there the design temperature was the 150 degrees celsius and this material or group is the 1.1 group material then another things was the temperature uh, sorry the pressure pressure was the 150 bar so 135.2 bar is this so we cannot use this flange so we need to go the more higher on than 225.4 okay this is the more than 150 so we can choose this and this is the temperature then we see the 1500 is the pressure uh, class for the flange so for this condition we can use 1500 uh, pound uh, flange so i hope you understand uh, the, this the another example if i say the design temperature is the 50 and the pressure is the 50 bar only then uh, for which pipe uh, which flange rating we need to be used so you can see from here so the 50 degrees the celsius the temperature and 50 bar so 300 the uh, we can use because of 50.1 so this is the more than 50 uh, bar so we can use the 300 uh, uh, pound pressure yeah, sorry the 300 uh, 300 uh, pound uh, flange so i hope you understand uh, these topics and you also can able to uh, identify which flange rating we should be used and which flange rating uh, we need to be replaced if we know the uh, material pressure and temperature okay for you uh, this is the question for you so find out what is the flange rating to be used if flange material is a105 design pressure is 100 bar and design temperature is 100 degrees celsius so uh, if you if you able to find please uh, uh, answer you give your answer in comment section so that's all this all the this uh, lecture if you have any doubt or any question you can ask me in a uh, comment section i will try to answer your question so thanks to all for watching the full lecture see you soon in my next lecture Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.